that is beautiful. Yeah, it, it's all Cyprus in his area. Now, now it's funny how people find a calling in life. And when they do, the world changes. David Moss knew he liked the outdoors, growing up with a family that liked to hunt ducks. In the first place, I've always liked to draw. I've, I've liked to, I mean, enjoyed that since I was a little kid. And my, uh, my parents were big, big hunters. So uh, when, when I got old enough to do that, why well, I'd, you know, I'd walk the fields for pheasants and, and uh, once in a while go duck hunting, but I always thought that was too cold. You know, I was just, just a little kid. But I like to draw so well. I, I like to work wet on wet. As much he developed an eye for what he saw and a dose of creativity. He started painting while he was working a tool and die job. Little did he know how gifted he was until he took some of his work to his sporting goods in Chicago. I took a bunch of paintings there, and, and they took all of them. They took really? them, yeah. And, and that's and when you that, knew there might be... Yep, yep. So I kept painting, and then I moved into their... There was another store that was affiliated with them in New York called Abercrombie & Fitch. Yep. Which isn't the Abercrombie no, & Fitch that they say, have now. <laughs> that was a different kind of wildlife they're going now, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And, and, but anyway, uh, it, 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 it just kind of snowballed. A career was officially launched, a career of one of the greatest outdoor artists the country has ever known. Attaching himself to organizations that he believed in and helping to bring attention to his work. But it's gotta make you feel good that you can take your passion and turn it into something that actually gives back to your love. Oh, it's absolutely great. <laughs> you know, I yeah, mean, you can yeah. some of these prints that get auctioned off and it all goes back into the land, yeah. you know? No, no, you're right. So this is like a outdoor experience when you walk out your door, huh? Yeah, kind of is. His house and property are symbols of what he loves, of what he has become. See, David Moss has a passion for his work because, first and foremost, he has a passion for the world he works in, Mother Nature. What was the most fun period of time that you had honey ducks? Was it in your teens, your 20s, your 30s? I don't think there was a favorite time. I, I, if I had to say one, I guess it's probably one uh, when I, the first few years that I started Paul, that's, that's my, my son. Yeah, the, the, to see him light up? Yeah, yeah. He can grab inspiration on this piece of property. Okay, there's the, the barn, it's painted white now, but over to your left, over, oh, over yeah. across, and yeah. see the water tower behind yes. you? And his studio sits next to the home he and his favorite hunting partner, his wife, occupy. It is in this small structure that it is his haven where his imagination is put to paper. This is perfect. Yeah. You know, this was on the property when we bought it, and, and uh, uh, I came so close to having it torn down and just, just got the idea that, well, well, maybe I could make that into a studio. Yeah. You, you can mix everything that you need that way, and that's what I do. I do a lot of mixing before I start, like, like the colors that I have here now, and the, these are all my sky colors, sky, well, and water. And it is here that he has created a life that has surpassed what he thought possible. He has hunted across North America with some of the biggest names in the outdoor world, like the late Jimmy Robinson, renowned for his waterfowl camp. What was he like? Well, it was even before that, I think, he, he, was, he, was, he was a character. Yeah. A real character. Yeah. <laughs> his adventures create his canvas. For it is on his hunting trips that he's constantly looking and observing and inspiring himself by what he sees and what he feels. It is his nature, always has been. So when you're out duck hunting, is your mind always saying, would this be a great all, something all, to draw? All the time. Yeah. And my, my number one hunting buddy is, is, my, is my son, Paul. He's actually a stepson, but he's been with me since he was, I think, six or seven years old, and, and so I don't think of him as a stepson. And uh, I, I, I can remember when he shot his first duck and how, you know, a flock had come in, I just practically pray that he would, he would hit something. And, and, and now my comment is sometimes I pray that he would miss because he's, he's such a much better shot than I am. The results have been staggering. The people he's met, the money he's made, the awards he's won. I, I think the happiest I, I, I ever was with, with an award was the first time that, that I was Ducks Unlimited Artist of the Year. That, yeah. That really, uh, The first time especially, huh? Yeah. 
But it's not because he set out to become rich and famous that it happened. It happened only because he loved what he was doing, only because his heart took him there. And there is the place where he is that day, hunting ducks and looking forward to, well, hunting ducks. It's like you're in a different, uh, a different environment, a different you're world. You're in a good mood. And... Yep, exactly. And uh, sure, it's more fun when you come back with a, you know, with with a, with a bunch of ducks. But but even if you don't, it's still it's still fun. That's why his journey has been a wonderful life, because he's always looking forward, wondering what could be, and understanding there is something breathtaking waiting for him somewhere to be captured. You, you just can't. It's hard, to, it's hard to pick a favorite time. Yeah. It's like picking a favorite painting. And it's still a favorite painting, favorite, what's your favorite hunter, favorite painting? The next one, isn't that what well, makes that's, it great? That's, that's what I always hope. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, that's what it's built on. Well, sure. I've yeah. had great ones in the past, but my be favorite one is gonna be the next one. Yeah, that's gonna be my best one. That's gonna be my best one. That's yeah. gonna be my best memory, yeah. For more information on Life to the Max, go to our website at lifetothemax.tv.